Greetings from the Eccentric Man. Today we managed to get a game in at Lost Art Games in Stevenage uh, with our first practice run of What a Tanker by Two Fat Lardies. Now What a Tanker is a tank on tank game where you have one tank normally for you to play and you've got a dashboard of actions and with that you're trying to kill the enemy's tanks. What we're going to do today is have a quick look at the game and run through and see how it plays. So, setting up the table today for a practice of what a tanker. So, we've got Steve from Lost Ark Games, Mike and his mate from uh, the far north climbs. Well, Close Northampton? Grantham. Grantham. Well, that, oh, that's, that's, that's way north. And John has just run off to answer his phone. Uh, it must be a business deal. Yep, so we're going to have a go with uh, what a tanker and we'll see how that plays out. So, just setting up the dashboards, we, uh, we're going for uh, a Stuart which has got a strike value of 4 and a defence value of 4. <laughs> John's noisy phone. Uh, and it's fast. We're then going for the Panzer 4D. That's got a strike value of 3 and a defence of 4. We've got a Panzer 3 and that is strike value 5, defence 5. And then we've got a, a Lee, which is Leo Grant. Um, makes a much difference, which has got a strike of four and defense of five, six, sorry. What it means is strike rate. If you get a hit, uh, strike rate is the number of dice you roll to see what damage you do. Defense is the number of dice you roll to see if you can negate the hits by the opponent. When you uh, add them up, you see whether it's more more defence than attack, evens, one up, two up, or three up. And different damage is caused, some temporary, some permanent. And uh, three dice up, and that's a kill. Uh, so that's going to be very interesting. So that's what we're doing. I've just uh, written up the dashboards. So what I've put in there is we've got the M3 Lee, I've put strike four, defence six. Uh, it's got no other attributes. Uh, the Stuart, what I've written, is uh, just in there. Stuart 3, attributes, fast, strike 4, defence 4. So uh, we'll see how that runs. What uh, fast means is that um, you see the command dice there. That's how you operate your tank. One is drive. You can go 2d6 with one dice. Two is acquire target. That depends on range and intervening obstacles. Three is aim. Four is fire. Five reload. And six is a wild dice. But how it, with this one fast, that's an attribute and that means I can use any of the command dice to do an extra drive. So I could use the five to rather than reload to give me an extra 2d6 of movement which can be quite useful if I wanted to turn the turret. Turrets in this, if you move, you can move the turret 60 degrees. Uh, and you can gather that by placing the token hexagon above the tank. So in this uh, shot, what I've done is I've put the uh, hexagon token on top. So you can use that to look at where the turret is going and how far. So if you move, a normal move, using one drive dice and 2d6 dice to move, the turret can rotate 60 degrees. Uh, and that's what the angles are on the hexagon. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that pans out as we play the game. So these are the tokens you get in the game. That is black that's shining up there out of the, uh, from there. So red circle buttoned. <laughs> Straightforward, isn't it, really? It looks like a button. Target acquired. Red. Aimed. In the black. Or it could even be very dark green. And loaded the bullet shape. So you get those and you get the hexagon marker. So those are the, the, uh, the plastic markers that uh, you can get for the game. So uh, we'll be using those, and they go onto the dashboard. And let's uh, show you how we. So can we go do over that. to the dashboard, and we've got buttoned, target acquired, 
aimed, loaded. So that's what you're looking for. Buttoned or not buttoned. Uh, buttoned and unbuttoned helps you spot uh, and also aim. So, uh, But if you are unbuttoned, it means that the commander is outside the tank and if you get hit, uh, there's an extra strike dice to the attacking vehicle. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that will run. I think for this scenario we'll, um, we'll just try to do it fairly quickly and we'll run it uh, fat boy system which is across the table long edge to long edge. So scenario that we're playing, fat boy. So it's going to be across the blaze line so we've got blue and red and uh, we're going to work out now who gets initiative for because the, uh, the way it starts is you roll a, each person rolls a d6 and the highest gets to be the player who goes first um, and then it goes down in descending order and what you then do is on each tank you put a card which tells you which one has got the priority uh, for that turn. What you could also do is use one of the cards and deal one of these out to each person so that they've got an action that they could use at one stage during the game. Uh, a get out of jail card possibly so uh, we'll deal them out and uh, we'll then Just see where we are. We had some uh, battles on the dice rolling a uh, roll off between Mike and John who both rolled six for the initiative at the beginning then ro both rolled fives and then John pipped it with a six against a one so John starts off with the top initiative one Mike with two Steve has got three. I rolled a one at the beginning. So I'm going to be number four to go. So we're going to head off into the first turn. We've dished out the cards, so we've got no idea what they are. But I'll show you mine, as they say. Oh, that's a good one. So, that's going to be a help. <laughs> so... For John's command roll, he's got one drive dice, he's got aim dice, he's got two reload dice, and he's got two wild dice. So the wild dice can be used for anything. So he can either use it for drive, he can use it for acquire target, he can use it for load, or he can use it for fire. So that's a, that's a pretty cracking uh, roll, I reckon, for the first one up. So we'll see what John's going to do for his uh, decision making. He starts... Uh, unbuttoned but he can only button up at the end of the turn so John's uh, moved the tank forward one drive dice and he was looking to shoot the Panzer 3 however there are one two three obstacles so that would mean uh, John's unbuttoned so he doesn't need an ac a, a die an acquisition dice to catch it but he's got three obstacles that would be, he would need three twos to acquire. Uh, and he hasn't got it. it uh, he didn't get a two or two. He could use the two sixes as wild dice, but that's still not going to be enough at this instance to, uh, to take a shot. If on his uh, dice roll he had rolled 12, that would have got him up to the hedge, and there would only have been two obstacles. Therefore, he could have used his two sixes to get a shot because he's got an aim dice ah, but then he could still might not be able to do it because he hasn't got a four to fire <laughs> but what card has he got hidden away yeah you ain't got nothing <laughs> mm. <laughs> tricky one let's see if I can get that in focus for you Yeah, interesting. So, uh, I think the initiative will now pass. Are you buttoning up or are you going to stay unbuttoned? Thank you, um, uh, question. Yes. If I use the three to acquire to aim at the target. No, nope, you've got to acquire it first. Right, okay. Yep, got to acquire it first. So, Mike's rolled one drive dice to acquire one aim, one shoot. And a wild dice, uh, which is um, pretty good. You start loaded. 
Yes. Do you remember what we were discussing before? Yeah. Yeah. So you could you could roll your one drive dice. So we're gonna we're gonna move, aren't we? Yep. Roll your one drive dice. Just the one. So it's two d six, because for every one drive dice, it's two d six. Move. So you've got eight, so you could move yourself up to that hedge. And it's from front to front, is it? Yep, front to front. You have to stop at any but you have to stop at the obstacle, because oh, okay. that would cost you another drive dice to get over. However, that does mean that there are only two obstacles between you and the tank, and you are unbuttoned. You need two acquired dice. Which and you've got two acquired dice. A chance. A chance. So you could, as we say, target acquired. Uh, John would have to move out of sight now to get rid of that acquired. But you've also got a three. So the two acquired dice go up. So you've got a three, which is aim. So now you're aimed in. And then you've got a four, which is shoot. Shoot! So I think you might want to do that, mightn't you? I think I might. You might want to do that. Okie doke. Let's see if you hit. Mike uh, did decide to take a shot. It would have been sixes because it's under 48. But because there's two obstacles, that puts it up to eight. Uh, sadly, the uh, the gunner wasn't particularly listening to the commander. Uh, and he rolled a four. So he missed. But what he has got is a six, which he could reload. So he's reloaded, ready for the next turn. And being a sensible tank commander... He has buttoned up. Right, so, uh, Steve rolled. He's got one drive dice, one acquire dice, and four shooting dice. Impressive, but no use. Uh, there's no no uh, load. No, sorry, there's no fire, is there? No, and no wild dice. Uh, so you could you could move. That's, that's, at least you can do that. You could do something. You, you could move and you could button up at the end of your, uh, your turn. So, uh, for my command dice, I've rolled one drive... One acquire, one aim, four shoot, two shoots, and one reload. So I'm going to have to work out what I've got to do. I've got a fast tank, because I cheated. I've got a fast tank. And I can change one dice to drive. So um, that's what I might do. So I, uh, I rolled two of my drive dice. And um, I got a 19-inch move. It is a fast tank. It is. It's a Stuart. It's a Stuart uh, three. So um, I've moved 19 inches. I don't think actually I can do that move because it starts here, and I've only got a 60 turn. So I've got to go round the edge. So I'll uh, I'll come back. Uh, it's not quite the same as bolt action. So um, I'm going to have to work out my 60 60 degree move. So I could actually advance up where I was. So I'm up there, but sadly. I've got no, um, I haven't got enough acquired dice, and I can't change any of mine because I haven't got a wild dice. So I can move very fast and get where I'm going, but can't actually do anything when I get there. So, <laughs> so we'll move on to turn two. Right, John's, uh, John's rolled two ones, a two, a three, and two sixes. So what he's decided to do is to use one drive dice, and that's moved him up to the fence. There's only two obstacles now. But because he's buttoned, he's also needing an acquire dice for hitting the tank behind the hedge. If he had stayed unbuttoned, he'd only need two. So he's buttoned up, so he's used his two wild dice that he had left over from the previous turn to change them to twos to acquire. So he's now marked up acquired on the board, and he's used his three to aim. Um, so that, uh, that puts him in that position at the moment. And that would be the end of his turn. Because he's got no four to fire. Right, John's uh, John's rolled two ones, a two, a three, and two sixes. So what he's decided to do is to use one drive dice, and that's moved him up to the fence. There's only two obstacles now, but because he's buttoned, he's also needing an acquire dice for hitting the tank behind the hedge. If he had stayed unbuttoned, he'd only need two. So he's buttoned up, so he's used his two wild dice that he had left over from the previous turn to change them to twos to acquire. So he's now marked up acquired on the board, and he's used his three to aim. Um, so that, uh, that puts him in that position at the moment. And that would be the end of his turn. Because he's got no four to fire!
He's had another really good dice roll. Because uh, he's lost aimed because John moved, but he's still acquired, but he's buttoned. Uh, however, what, uh, what Mike did was he used one, one drive dice to get over the obstacle. The other drive dice has taken him up to the hedge. And he's only got one obstacle and he's unbuttoned. And he's buttoned. Mm -hmm. So he needs two acquire dice. His dice roll is quite not quite so good as we thought. Because <laughs> if we go back to the mathematics, the two drive dice are discounted. Two is an eight, acquire. But he's buttoned, and there's an obstacle with John's tank, so he needs two acquire dice. He could drop the six to acquire, but then he wouldn't be able to fire because he hasn't got a four. So, bold move. <laughs> but, um, good aim, good aim, and, and he is aimed unless John moves. Uh, so, we'll see... What happens uh, in the next turn? Are you going to stay buttoned or are you going to unbutton? Uh, I will stay buttoned, but I will. I, I think it would be, be a good I will move. Aim. Are you going to? You're going to aim. You've got the three. That uh, no, you can't acquire. You need two to acquire. So if you change. So you can to use. Well, you, I'm already acquired though. Um, yeah, you still no. You are acquired, aren't you? Yeah, no. So well, I can aim. No, you can aim. Yeah, and fire because you are already acquired. That didn't drop. So you don't I mean, I'm need. Gonna, I'm gonna got a four. Yeah, so you don't. I know you haven't, but you could change the six to a change four. Change the six to four. But I still got to aim, haven't I? Uh, you've got a three. Oh, okay. Ah, three right. aims. Right. So aim and fire. Yep. Then. Aim and fire. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll so there. this time, um, there's only one obstacle. So that still puts me at a seven, doesn't it? So that puts you at a seven. Yep. We're just uh, the two dice. We're just the two dice. Let's go for it. Seven. Oh, yeah. Seven. Ah, right. Sweet, now, sweet. <laughs> now your strike is three, isn't it? It is. Yeah, I did. Uh, did we did give you a Panzer three. Yes. Panzer four. D. Yeah. Not a fast tank. No, I didn't. Like, I didn't. Like I, didn't <laughs> I didn't have a long. I didn't have a long barrel. Sorry, you had to go for the small one. Uh, so you roll three dice. Panzer four, tear it out. Three dice. Three dice. Uh, and a five is what you need, I think. Yeah, five or six. Five or six, yeah, need a five. And uh, John rolls his defence dice. Which is six. Which is six. <laughs> yeah. What, but I just rolled a six? No, you roll six, six dice. dice. Six dice. Six dice, bloody hell. A fast six defence dice. God, what a good one. You this one, aren't you? You've rolled a couple of uh, fives. Five. Yeah. It's a safety. So you, you only rolled four there, John. You had another I know, two to roll. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, why, why put Make it three. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why, 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 why yeah. use six when four will do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so John uh, negated that shot. So Steve has rolled a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. Uh, so it's easily recognisable what he's got, and um, no ones. But he can change the two sixes to drive. Plus, he's also got his hidden card, whichever that means and whatever it says. Yeah, or he could hide behind the building and leave his uh, leave his partner <laughs> to face the two enemy tanks. So, um, yeah, rather than taking the quick route across, he's decided to go round the buildings. Uh, so, four d six movement. Uh, yeah, yeah, go on. Four d six should probably take you up to the hedge, won't it? But if I want to come in this way, I've got to rotate, haven't I? You, yeah, you'd have to use one dice because it's ninety degrees. You'd have to use a whole die drive, die drive, die drive dice to do it. Oh, you're not. It wasn't, was it? <laughs> but at the end of the day, you're gonna have to do it in here when you get past the hedges. Yep. Yeah, so we can do we go four d six straight well, to there. Yep. Uh, we'll have to stop at the hedge anyway. Yeah. We can spare one. Yeah. Do a ninety. Oh, it might get you up the hill if you if you get a double six. To get down there. To get, so get. Put another drive dice to get up the hill, do you? Yeah, let's do that. Let's yeah. Let's do no, that. no, no, I'm just. He, he could, he's got to use one drive dice to turn 90. Right. Turn 90. I think. Yep. Yeah. If not, well, we'll find out tomorrow, but. Um, yeah, it was on the spot, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. And then 2d6 one. to move. Lucky Mac. Lucky Mac. Move. Lucky Mac. Yeah, Lucky Mac. Lucky Mac. Roll to five. <laughs> it's not going that far. Low averages. Yeah, that was a low, low average, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, good move, good move, that one. I don't mind. 
Two sixes, that's that for the go. Yeah. So I've rolled two acquired dice, one shoot, one reload, and two wild. So, uh, I'll go, just, uh, just working things out, I can change. Uh, no, I won't. Well, I'll, uh, one six for a drive, one six for aim. That's a bit. So I'm hoping that 1d6, if I roll enough, will get me to the hedge. And there'll only be one hedge between me and Mike. And then the other, then that's one hedge, but I, and I'm open, uh, no, I'm buttoned. So I've got two acquired dice. So that would be one hedge and buttoned. That would give me the acquire. Change one, six to three. That would give me aim. And then I've got a four to fire. <laughs> yep, that there. seems good to me. <laughs> yep, yep. Go, go with, go, go with me, children. <laughs> so one six to go drive. Hey. Do you not need an extra acquired dice because just like the initially two acquired? I need, I need one acquired dice because I'll be buttoned. Yeah. And there's only going to be one hedge between us. But isn't there also another acquired dice to actually acquire? No. So it's acquire then hedge and then buttoned. Is buttoned, there buttoned. Yeah, one, two, yeah one, I'm hoping. One, 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 I mean, it all comes down to whether you reach the edge or not. No, no, no. You just need. You don't need. You are, This is the acquiring. Yep. Yeah. So I move up to the hedge. Yep. Yeah. And then because I'm buttoned, that's one to a. That's one acquired dice. And because there's one obstacle, that's an acquired dice. But isn't there an initial acquired dice to acquire? Yeah. So you'd have to spend one to acquire. No. Anyway, if you were. I don't think so. Yeah, so doing. If I was unbuttoned, there wouldn't be any dice to acquire. You don't need if you're unbuttoned and it's clear. There's there's no acquired dice needed. I think. There's a lot of obstacles. There's a lot of obstacles. So we had pre acquired yeah. dice. There was pre obstacles. Oh, right. so <laughs> if, it, if it was just a tank here and here, there'd be no acquired. Dice. There'd be no acquired dice because okay. it's um, open open game. Oh, I think. We've got a quick uh, dive into the rule book again, uh, and I would need an acquired dice to acquire. Then one hedge would be a second acquired dice, and because I'm buttoned, that would give me a third acquired dice, I believe. Uh, we'll confirm that tomorrow night, but I'm sure that's, I think that's sure that is the way. But we're, uh, we're going to go ahead and swap over one to, uh, to drive, and we'll see where we get for a moment, and then uh, progress on. I uh, was hoping to get up to the hedge, and failed, so I had to use the second six to uh, do another drive. And that got me up to the hedge. Because I uh, I moved, I was able to move my turret to the 60 degree point. So at least I've got a possible shot next turn, depending on what dice come up. So we're going to roll for turn three now, aren't we? And see who gets the initiative in this one. So Mike's dice for, uh, begin for his turn three. Uh, he's, he's stationary at the hedge. There's only one obstacle between... Uh, so it's only one, one on his to hit roll, but he's got, uh, he's acquired, nobody's moved, so he's still aimed. He's got a four to shoot, he's got a five to reload, and then he's got a six to shoot again. <laughs> oh yes, game on! Well, um, I should have rolled, I should have videoed the dice rolls, but I didn't, one bet. So, um... Hit with hit with eight. So uh, he needed a seven to hit. So Mike rolled an eight. Rolled his three uh, strike dice and uh, failed to get a five or a six. And then he used his reload dice and then he fired again. So he rolled again another eight to hit. And did you roll any fives that second time? Just the one, just the one five. And John rolled just four of his defense dice and rolled two sixes. Um, <laughs> Rub it in. Rub it in, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, so, um, not even rattled. So we'll, we'll move on to the, uh, the Americans turn. So John's got, um, he's acquired. He's got an aim, but he's got a three. He's got a shoot. He's got a reload. He's got a shoot. And he's got a reload. Interesting. Okay, so, um, it's going to be a seven to hit. So it's so you you've got your aim. So your aim is your three. Yep. So mark your little cross onto. The, yep, that's aimed. So 
And that shoot. That shoot. So you need 2d6 to get a 7. That's seven. a 7. Now you roll 4 because you've got strike 4. Yep. You've got two fives. You've got four defence dice, Mike. Two sixes. Two sixes. So um, that is uh, even Stevens, isn't it? Yep. So that, that something does happen there, but um, let's work that so out. So it's um, superficial because it's the number of saves as equal the number of hits. So John, as a fire, is going to roll a d6. On a one to five, the target tank reverses directly backwards, that many inches. Three. Oh, it's Richard. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, was that a one to five, did we say? On a score of one to five, the target tank reverses directly back. Yep. Uh, so, you move three inches back there, Mike. Which is interesting, because Mike has now moved. <laughs> so, John has lost his aim point. So, you'd have to use your six. Change to an aimed. Change to an aimed. Use that to a reload. That to reload. And then that to fire. And that to fire. So, um, it's still one hedge. So, you need an eight... No, a 7. 2d6, two two yeah, a 7 to uh, hit. 10. 10, right, so it's another 4 dice. 1, 6. 2, 5s. Five. Five. So that bounces off. It's not even equal uh, attacker defender. So uh, it's bounced. So um, Mike survives with that little bit of uh, backward reversing. So, what I've done is uh, I've rolled a one for one drive, two for an acquire, three for uh, an aim, and then two sixes. I am loaded. So what I'm gonna do is use one drive dice to take me over the hedge. And I think because of the size of my tank, I might well be against the other hedge. Yeah, it could be, couldn't it? So when you cross, can you still yeah. Um, I think it's, it shows it in a straight line. So um, we'll move across for one drive dice. Absolutely made for it. Look at that. Perfect fit. So um, we've got one hedge in the way. I'd need two acquire dice, but I've only got one acquire dice. But we'll have a look at my dice. So I've got two acquire dice, so I'm going to change one six to acquire. So, uh, buttoned and acquiring a tank gives me two. I'm against the hedge. So, I now need to move the button to acquired. I've got one, three to aim at least. And I'll change the six to four. To fire. So, that seems good to me. So I've got uh, four strike dice. I'm against the hedge, uh, so that negates that, so it's going to be a six needed on two dice to hit. Yep, got a seven. The Stuart gets four strike dice. So I've got two sixes and a five. So Mike will roll his four dice. So he's got one save, and I've got two criticals. So we're on the uh, two-up table, and we'll have a look what that does. Right, uh, this takes us on to um, critical hits and permanent and temporary damage. So in this one, I've rolled two sixes and a five, which is more critical hits than normal hits, which means that the damage will be permanent but you can only do one permanent damage dice per shot. Uh, so that's going to be one command dice lost off of the Panzer IV. However, I've got to work out what the actual damage does to the tank. So if you can see there, it says 1 to 4, it's hull, 5 to 6, turret. So it's a 2, so it's hull. Moving then, I'm guessing, is it? So it's uh, 
The first permanent damage hit on the location. Running gear is damaged. Lose one pip per D6 of movement. Uh, it requires one additional drive dice for any obstacle. So uh, it does do a little bit of damage there. So what we would do is write that down in the damage box. So it's minus one D6 pip. And two drive dice for an obstacle. Or oh, plus one dice. Drive dice. That's better, isn't it? Plus one D6. Plus one D6. For movement. For an obstacle. Well, we're taking damage. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, permanent damage. Isn't it? One. And loses one command dice. Yeah. So that goes down into the bottom as permanent. <coughs> So we just move into turn four and we've rolled for initiative. Not looking good for the Germans. John's uh, gone on uh, point with one. I'm uh, going second with two. Steve's on three for his tank. And uh, Mike's on four for the poor Panzer IV. Uh, which can't, which is uh, minus as one off its D, its dice for uh, movement and adds a uh, drive dice for going over obstacles. But to be fair, He's still alive. Oh, and he did lose a, a permanent dice off of his command board. So um, we'll uh, let's see what we can so do. So he's rolled his dice. He's got uh, two ones, a two, a three, four, and a six. He needs a one dice, which would have been a five to load. Oh, uh, but he can though. use his six. I've moved. Ah, so, uh, no, but he, you move. He he fired. Then you moved. Then he aimed again. I aimed again. And then, the second shot but he didn't know. do anything on that second shot. No. So he's still aimed on that one. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so you can uh, reload and fire. Post return. <laughs> and you could probably reverse with your drive dice. There's a lamppost about here. Because uh, you don't have to do it. In, you you can, could move after you shot. No, I've got an idea. I'm sure. I've got an idea. Yep, what are you going to do then? Right, so we're going to reload. I'm going to fire. Yep. We'll do that first. Because you're required and you're aimed. Already. So you're going to fire. Uh, so... Uh, you've got one obstacle in between, so you need a seven. With two dice. Yep, that's a hit. So you're rolling four dice. That's two sixes. So that's two possible criticals. So you've got three dice, uh, no, four dice, Mike. So you save them. So it's equal. So it's now a dice roll, John. One dice. One dice. Oh, okay. Two. So it's two inches backwards, which takes you up against the hedge. So yeah, yeah, that Panzer IV is not liking the uh, the damage that's coming his way. I'm then going to. <laughs> now what are you going to do? So I think yeah, you could use the drive dice if you wanted to. Reverse. Do you want to reverse? Discretion better part of that. What's the arc on my tank? It's 45 degree. Can I fire at this vehicle? It's uh, it, it's 60. It's you. It, that's that's one thing we've got to ask tomorrow as regards the because um, okay. you've got a top <coughs> top gun and a bottom gun. Well, I'm going to use I'm going to use me one. Yep. Just to pivot slightly. Okay. Yep. Yep. To hopefully cover that. That will vehicles. cover both vehicles. Yeah, that's okay then. So that was one drive dice to pivot to do that. So my turn round. Uh, I've got two drive dice, one aim, two reload, and a six. Because um, Mike's tank reversed, I've lost my aim, but I'm still acquired. So I need a three to aim, which I've got. That's move us into acquired. The six I'll change to a four, which will fire. And then I'll reload. So I'll need a six to hit. Poor old, uh, poor old Mike. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's Steve's fault, really. Yeah, because. Is he obscured by the wood? From there. Oh, he might be actually. Yeah, I I think that would be an obscured by that would be a partial obscure. So I'd move it up to seven. Yeah, we'll move it up to seven. Be, yeah. Very decent, I think. Could be a third. Of it. A nice bit of American yeah, I reckon. So, up to sevens. 
seven. That's a seven. Just what you need. So, uh, <laughs> so four dice. Uh, sorry, just to focus on John's shoe there. I'll try and get the board while I'm trying to, by the other side, get my dice out of the uh, pot. Really so, good. strike dice four. One. 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 So, even Stevens. You roll a dice. So, you? I roll a dice. If we get a six, something bad happens. Five. five. So that's five inches back. So that's over the hedge, I think. All the plus side. Yeah. And the hedge. Yeah. So that shooting didn't particularly work very well, I don't think. Uh, that's uh, that's put that's put him well out of sight because you you can't shoot, you can't see through four inches of wood. So I've also now loaded. So, uh, so really, that that has been a cracking bit of uh, a cracking turn for Mike there. Uh, he's now out of sight of mine, so I've lost my acquired. I've lost aim. John's lost aim, and he's now behind another obstacle and, and the trees, and I can't see him. Um, yeah, now uh, yeah, that's good. Um, perhaps initiative wasn't perhaps so good then, was it then, John? For us, but uh, anyway, we we had a chance. Oh, yeah. We had a chance. Yeah, uh, just been looking at the rules and realised that we got the. Command dice sixes, the wild dice is wrong on the first first go where John kept the two sixes eights to the next go to use them to change one of the other command dice to either the drive or the acquire. You can't do that. Uh, what you can do with it though is at the beginning of the second uh, the next turn is to plus one to your um, initiative dice roll. So you can use it that way. But it can also add to your strike di strike dice, aim dice. You can use it to... Uh, to help you aim or help you acquire. Help you to hit. Help you to hit. Oh right, help you to hit though. And on your strike dice. As well. And on the strike dice. Oh right. So let's uh, let's move into Steve's dice because he's in a good position to get a few shots. On so people. Steve's rolled up um, right, an aim, four loads, <laughs> and a six. <laughs> he's well loaded. Right. Well loaded. I'm loaded already. Yeah. So before I shot you. So yeah, he's he's loaded. Um, so yeah, you, yeah. Hmm. You're open. You're unbuttoned still. I'm still unbuttoned. So you would only need one acquire dice to acquire me. But you can't shoot because you haven't got a four. And you'd need to change the six to a two yep. to acquire. Yep. Yeah. Can't really do a lot with that at all. I know you'd need two acquire dice, wouldn't you? Because it's one hedge and the tank and so acquire. One normally. One normally. And one for the hedge. And one for the hedge too, yeah. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Oh well. You can move to six to move. Yeah. <laughs> Mike uh, has got one damage dice out, so he's rolled the five dice, and he's got a six, a fire, a load, a fire, and a load. Um, but he's acquired, so all he needs is an aim, so which would turn wild card. wild card to uh, take that to a to aimed. So you're aimed, then and then reload. Then reload. Yep. Yeah, so you can fire, reload, and fire. Yep. Which is handy uh, handy set of dice, isn't it? So you could reload, fire. You can fire, reload, and fire, couldn't you? That's right. Yeah. So, uh, that's going to be two shots. So, um, there's one, two obstacles. So, it's an eight. Eight with uh, two dice. With two dice. Yeah, that's a hit. So, three dice. So one five, John's, uh, yeah, bounced. So I reload. And fire. So you reload, and two uh, two dice to hit again. Needing an eight. <laughs> Good sound effects. Seven. Seven. No, failed by one. Denied. Yeah, denied. Right, John's rolled uh, the two ones, the three, the five, and a six. Let's see what he's going to do. Right, what I'm going to try and do now is a three. Yep. Means I aimed. That's the uh, aim. So you still aimed. acquired. Okay, I'm still acquired. Yep. Five will reload. Five Sorry, will reload. Five will reload. Yep. Then I'm going to use my wild card. Oh, a wild card. Are you still shooting me? Uh, yeah, I'm going to still fire at uh, the Panzer in front. Okay, and the wild card. Your crew are working as an effective team. Use this card to change the score of any single command dice rolled to any other score of your choosing. Right. So I will choose the one 
Yep. Oh, when well, I choose a five, yep. I will turn that to a four to enable me to fire. Radio. Can you can you use that card to turn it into a wild card? Or would it only be used to turn it to one individual number? Uh, what's what's, what's number? what are you doing with a six? Don't know yet. You're uh, keeping you, that as a wild card. <laughs> Probably. Okay then. Right, so. Instead of the. And you're firing at Mike still, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got one obstacle, two obstacles. Yep. Yeah. And your. Yeah. Eight. Oh, it's a big miss. And that's a big miss. Yep. Yeah. So what are you going? You're going to keep the six. Keep the six. You're going to keep the six to give it a plus one on the initiative on the in the next turn. in the next turn, right? So I've uh, rolled a one, two twos, a three, a four, and a six for a wild dice. Uh, I've not got anyone acquired at the moment, and not aimed because Mike's tank went for out of the way. So I'm going to use one drive dice to take me over. That's not going to do me any good, is it? I don't think. <sighs> Because I was thinking I might use one dive dice to. Um, hmm. You can. One over. Because you, you can pivot up to 90. You could pivot and go forward with one dice. Oh, I could, yeah. One dice over. No, I've got to use one dice as a drive dice to get over the hedge. Oh, right. Yeah. And then I, I've got two acquired dice. And I'd. No, I'd probably only need one acquired dice, wouldn't I? Because I'm buttoned, and I'm trying to acquire, so I need two. But then I wouldn't be loaded. Damn it, Janet. We're going to hop over the hedge, change one, two to a drive dice, then use this wild card dice to change to acquire. No, no, the six, six to a drive, two acquire, three to aim... Four to shoot. Yes, that's what we do. So we use one drive dice to hop over the hedge, one drive dice to move and turn. I've got two dice, two twos to acquire, and Steve's in the open and I'm buttoned, so that's two to acquire, so that's acquired. I've got one three to aim, and I've got a four to shoot. So it's in the open, so I need a six. So we need a six. Yep, that's a hit. So four dice on the front of the Panzer 3J. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, two sixes and a five, and you've got four dice in defense. Five, five dice in defense. <sighs> Not a one. Not a one. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. That is unfortunate. <sighs> I uh, I think I think I'm going to get a ring here. So uh, on the table. You're welcome to the fight. That's uh, that's <laughs> that's three. <laughs> that's four. That's uh, four or more, isn't it? Bit of paper. You got it. Uh, I think that's a destroyed. So number of hits exceeds number of saves by three or more. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Uh, uh, yeah. So long and thanks for all the fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yep, pans the, pans the three gone. Good game, that did that. Oh, dear. As we're learning the game in this one, we, we've said to Steve that uh, he, uh, he gets a second life. You didn't know it's yeah. kind of the last game. He's used up one of his second lives. So, um, we'll, we'll, we're still running the game from this oh, one. I wasn't quite so kind when I said to Steve he could have his tank back in that, <laughs> that same position. Um, because uh, he rolled a six to uh, to hit, because he was uh, acquired and uh, aimed, and um, yeah, he rolled two sixes and 
two fives and I rolled nothing over four so he blew up my tank so yeah it makes it if you're out in the open you are easy to hit and depending on the dice that rolled you could get blown up and obviously we have <laughs> Well, I think we got a few uh, things wrong as we were going through and a bit confused, but uh, got there in the end, sorted it all out as much as we can. We've got Rich from Two Fat Lardies coming along on Thursday night, which is tomorrow uh, with this video, and he's going to give a demonstration and talk through of the, uh, the game with uh, club, well, shop members and the Landseers club members, and uh, hopefully he'll clear up any of the little problems that we had. But, yeah, we, we quite enjoyed ourselves. And I think once we get the mechanisms uh, ironed out and get them in our heads, it'll be much quicker. A couple of things that we thought about. Um, the Panzer 4D was a little bit underpowered with the three dice. So um, we'll have to look at that. Certainly I think you need to get the tanks in um, the right year and theatre type selector because otherwise they're going to be a little underpowered. The 4D was 1940 where you're really looking at the, the Grant Lee coming in at the end of 1942 uh, and a much heavier armed tank. But uh, that was one of the things, just the need to look at that. Certainly terrain wise we went for quite a lot of terrain, we do like a nice bit of scenery and that of course slows it down, makes it more difficult to hit um, so it's up to you. Less terrain moves a bit quicker if you've got less time. If you've got more time, go for more terrain. But we did, uh, did have a bit of fun and uh, we're certainly going to be playing it a bit more uh, in the future. So, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have played it as well and your thoughts, jot them down in the comments. Uh, any questions, stick them in. Uh, we'll uh, try and answer them. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and look forward to the next video which I'm hoping will be my experiences of roll call that I went to at the, uh, the weekend. So take care.